Hello, this is Nerzman from the Max on Training Team, and in today's quick tip, I'm going to show you how to change the lifetime and variation using a condition. We're going to start with this very thin emitter, and it's going to allow us to see the effect a bit easier. And we're just emitting some particles, and currently they have a lifetime of 80 with a spread of 60. So their life expectancy is going to be between 20 and 140 frames. We are going to override this. And uh, to do that, we are going to use a field condition and put it in this main particle group. In this field condition, we're going to add a spherical field. And I'm going to make it a bit larger. I think that's good enough. And I'm going to move it on the z-axis. Now, as it is, nothing is going to happen because we haven't told this condition to do anything. And I'm going to pull my spherical field up here so it's uh, easier to read. What I want to do is uh, switch groups. So I'm going to get the switch group and make it a child of the field condition. And let's create a particle group and name it switched. And let's uh, drag this down here. Don't forget to assign the switch to the switched group. And I'm going to go and override the color so we can see it. Now, any particles that cross the 50th percentile of the field are going to switch group, but they still retain the lifetime and the variance that was set in the emitter. So how do we override this? Well, the first thing is to take a math modifier, put it before the switch, and assign the age to zero frames. So we are going to give them a new lease of life that starts from zero frames when they enter this field. So let's call this math age reset. Now let's go and add one more math underneath this one. And what we are going to do here is we are again going to assign using a field and I'm going to target the lifetime property that doesn't have a variance. One thing you need to remember is that when we are in fields mode, the value is in seconds, it's not frames. So I'm going to set this to two seconds. So if I rewind and press play, when they enter, they should die two seconds after they entered. That's why we get this. So now let's go and add the variance. And we're going to do this by adding a random field in here. So this value of two is masked by the random field. I always like to go and change my noise to Luca and increase the scale. And now if you rewind and press play, you will see that we are going to get randomized life expectancy for these particles. You can also animate it. And now we're going to get some sort of animated pattern in their lifetime variation. If you enjoy our quick tips, please like, comment, subscribe, and enable notifications so you never miss another quick tip.